Hey everyone, Gene is an artificial intelligence model that creates a ton of interactive worlds from images, whether they are computer created, real photos, or even drawings. It all started with the advancement of generative AI, which now allows us to create new and unique content full of creativity using text, images, and videos. And now we're taking a step further with generative interactive environments, also known as Gene. With Gene, you can have an interactive environment made from any image that you choose. A core model for playable worlds, this amazing feature of Gene's comes from his ability to work with images that are entirely new to him, like everyday photos or even simple drawings, creating virtual worlds where we can immerse ourselves. What's interesting is that he learned all of this without needing a specific guide for each task. In fact, Gene was taught with a vast amount of videos available on the internet internet. Google focused primarily on 2D game and robotics videos, but the method that used is very broad and has everything to work with different types of content, adapting as well as the constant growth of data available on the internet, learning to control without labels of action. The cool thing about Gene is that he learns to perform very detailed controls just by watching videos on the internet. This is kind of tricky because usually these videos don't come with detailed information about the actions that are scrolling or which part of the image is to tinker with. But the awesome is that Gene can figure out which parts can be moved and on top of that he finds out a bunch of hidden actions that fit into various created scenarios. Detail the same hidden actions generate similar results in different images that it uses as a basis. Before I go into more detail a quick thing subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. This helps a lot and you stay on top of everything. I'm here every day chatting about the subjects and keeping you updated. Your likes and subscriptions help this project grow and the bigger it gets, the more interesting videos I can bring to you. Combined, thank you for your subscription and for your like. Moving on, enabling a new generation of creators is surprising but true. Google only needs a single photo to create an interactive space on Vim and Fola. This opens up a huge range of possibilities for creating and exploring virtual worlds. For example, you can take an advanced tool for creating images from text and use them to make the first scenes that then come to life with the help of the gene. Here Google creates scenes with image 2 and animates everything with the gene. And look, that's not all. You can even immerse yourself in things made by people, like hand-drawn drawings or daily taken photos. This is a stepping stone for generalist agents. The gene also plays an important role in the creation of more comprehensive intelligent agents. Previous research has shown that games can be a great laboratory for developing agents, but agents always run into the limited number of games available. With the gene, the future AI agents can be trained in an endless variety of new and purpose-built worlds. In Google's study, they displayed an initial example of how the actions discovered by the gene can be applied in real environments by individuals. But that's merely a sneak peek of what might be achieved in the future. The future of generative virtual worlds. So, even though Google has paid substantial attention to platformers here, the gene has a much broader scope and can be employed in various sectors without needing specific field knowledge. Google has crafted a slightly smaller model with 2.5 billion parameters using videos that don't depict specific RT1 actions. And just like with the platform games, when the sequence of concealed actions remains the same, the behaviors tend to be alike. This demonstrates that the gene is capable of grasping a consistent set of actions that can be employed to train more versatile intelligent agents. The gene can even handle simulating objects that deform which is quite a challenge for human-created simulators. And this was all learned directly from data. 
With Gene, Google is entering a new phase where it's possible to create entire interactive worlds from images or text. They also believe it will be indispensable in training widely applicable intelligent agents in the future. Any thoughts, questions or ideas? Drop them in the comments, I'd love to chat about the video subject. If you liked the video, give it a like, share it and subscribe to keep up with updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.